Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching the Hot Conflict video series on the Unseen World. We're continuing with the stories of what is going on in the Unseen. If you've listened to the story of truth and some of the earlier series, you know that we're talking about some of the strange concepts from the hidden world or the Unseen World or that which we don't perceive in this third dimension reality. Now, of course, I always give the caveat, my name being Salim Siddiqui, and this the Hot Conflict video series, both on the hotconflict.com website or on YouTube, where many people are watching this video. You know that you always get from me some strange stories and some interesting facts. And so today we're going to continue on with this concept of understanding the unseen world and telling the story in this process as we're seeing the changes around us on the earth and the ascension process because we want to stay focused on what it is that we're trying to learn we're trying to achieve ascension as all prophets of the light told us that we're going to come to a day and age when people are going to ascend and that time of ascension is upon us now if you've already been blessed to recognize the truth of that light and realize that you're in the process of ascension then peace and blessings of the light be upon you all my brothers and sisters if not that I'm giving you a lot of the stories from many of the different sources so you can start to put the pieces together and recognize what is going on in the world. Now, if you listen to the last section, you know that we talked about what was happening in the creation and the pattern of 12 and some of the other races that we in Islam called the jinn or the unseen. <clears throat> And because we're talking about the story and telling you how to understand some of the stranger parts of it, we've got to go right back to where we were. Understanding what happened from the very beginning of creation to see how the changes have happened. Now in the last section we talked about the other 12 root races before the creation of Adam. And so now we want to jump right back into our story from humanity and the sons of Adam and recognize what has been going on. And so because many people have asked me to uh, give more quotes or information from sources, uh, I'm looking right now at the stories of the prophets by Ibn Kathir, one of the great scholars of tafsir or exegesis of the Quran and well known for his compilation of the stories of the prophets. And in his book, there is a narration by Ibn Mas'ud. Now, Ibn Mas'ud is one of the companions, if you recognize people of Islam, the name Ibn Mas'ud, then you should know that Ibn Mas'ud is mentioned by the Prophet Muhammad, the last messenger of the Lord Most High. And we said the most important fundamental of all of the stories of every community is that there always is one Lord. The creator of all that is, the supreme creator, Allah, a term in Arabic meaning the God, and know that over generations and histories of mankind on this planet and many others, there has always been a war between the light and the dark, and the dark ones have always deceived you about the truth and made you believe that there were many gods, all of them being false. For the true God is the one who created you, me, the universe, all life that is in it, and so we go to this statement of Ibn Mas'ud where the Prophet said that the Allah, the Almighty, sent Gabriel. Now, we said in the fundamentals of faith that there is Allah, the Lord, the Creator, and He created angels. And all of the religions that you know of the earth have mentioned Gabriel. In the Christian faith, in the Muslim faith, in the Jewish faith, Gabriel is known to be one of the archangels. Now, here we have this narration that Allah the Almighty sent Gabriel onto the earth to get him clay therefrom. We're going to the very original creation of Adam. And the earth said, I seek refuge in Allah from your decreasing my quantity or disfiguring me. So Gabriel returned without taking anything. And he said to the Lord Most High, O my Lord, the land sought protection in you and I granted that protection. Then Allah sent Michael, another archangel, for the same purpose, and the land sought protection in Allah from Michael, and Michael granted that protection. So he went back 
to the Lord informing him of what had happened and said the same thing that Gabriel had said before him. Then the Lord Most High sent the angel of death to the land to get the clay and mud. And the angel was told by the land, I seek refuge in Allah from you, taking anything from my quantity and disfiguring me. Upon this, the angel of death said to the land, I also seek protection and refuge with Allah from returning without carrying out his command. So he took from the earths and got the clay and the mud and returned to the Lord. Now, the reason why I bring out this narration is if we understand this narration, we have to put it into context. We said that if you are upon the light, you are realizing that by removing yourself and your own ego and your own personal understanding, you are beginning to realize that this story and this plan of the Lord is greater than just you or yourself. And you're seeing things in a larger perspective. And so know that when your Lord Most High sent the angels to go get from the land, it is not referring just to this planet. It is not referring just to this planet, as we know that the Lord Most High has created seven heavens or seven levels of skies, and there are many planets throughout this universe. Now, of course, it would be foolish for us to think so egocentrically that we are the only creation or we are the only planet in existence when we know that the universe is gigantic and expanding, and to think that we on this planet are the only ones is foolish. But in this narration, we also see a deeper understanding, once you know some of the unseen world, that the angels were sent to go get from the earths, not just this earth, but many earths, meaning earth was taken from this planet, earth was taken from blue planets, from green planets, from red planets, from yellow planets, and many other colors, which is why we have the mix of humans that we see on this earth itself. We have black men and brown men and yellow men and red men and white men. And so we're getting past the point of racism, but know just as much there are red planets and green planets and blue planets. And we have heard narrations from many people throughout this earth and elsewhere of many other humans or humanoids from other planets of various colors and denominations who have evolved on their own and understanding that, that when the angels were sent to get of the earth to form Adam for this original creation, it was not just one planet or one Earth that we are talking about, but we are talking about many planets throughout the universe. If you understand that concept, then things begin to become more clear. Now again, we said we're talking about some of these unseen things that we haven't experienced yet, and as my job, I told you, as a storyteller, is to give you some of the stories and make you see them in a larger context because we are getting ready to experience some of these other realms and higher dimensions. And we are getting ready to meet some of our brothers and sisters from various other places. And so it becomes incumbent upon me as the storyteller to prepare you as the listener and those who are upon the light, my brothers and sisters, that we already know of that these events are going to happen.